Hello everyone and welcome to Nizo Journeys. Today's video is just about breastfeeding with baby having teeth. changes that Zane has gone through since his teeth have been in. He has two bottom teeth and he has two coming in through the top. <sighs> Teething is not fun at all. Let's just say that. It is something else, alright? One thing that you probably already know or you've guessed is yes, biting is for sure a difficulty oh. when teeth start coming in. Zane has been biting a lot more since his teeth have been fully in and it actually hurts. If you're going to continue breastfeeding when your baby has teeth and they already kind of struggled with latching before, I do suggest nipple shields. I've heard a lot of people tell me to try them out because Zane bites pretty often when he's breastfeeding and the times that he bites is like as soon as he latches, another time maybe when he's done eating but booby is still like there, he might just bite. Or when he's even tired sometimes and I feed while he sleeps. So he's half sleep sometimes when he eats, which is fine, but you have to keep an eye because they may bite just because they're asleep and they're not really paying attention to their, their latch and if they're properly latching. He does also gnaw at a lot of different things. Of course, when babies teeth, they love gnawing on every single thing. Some of his favorite things is not even what is made for baby to be biting at. He does love, there's like a, a teething big necklace type of thing. And he, he loves to actually chew on that. He likes to chew on these too. These are bath toys. He doesn't like baths right now. That changed recently. But he does like his bath toys and he likes to chew on them. He also likes to chew on his wipes like this. He'll grab at it and he'll... I don't know how that's working out for him. You can see he's getting pretty excited right now. He likes to just basically chew on anything other than his teething rings and anything that's made for teething really he kind of shuns. And he's like, give me something random like this which goes to his bottle. He'll just gnaw on pretty much anything at this point. Another thing I wanted to bring up was improper latching. Ew. Ugh, I hate when hair is in my mouth. I hate it. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to bring up is improper latching. His latch has changed since he has had teeth and Zane got teeth around four months. Like his teeth actually pop through at four months. And his latch completely just, it changed. He struggles more. He's six months now and I'm kind of scared again because like I don't want him to bite me and he does bite. There's not much that I think I can do. I did end up getting pretty upset one time. I just ended up putting him in his crib and he doesn't normally go in his crib and I don't want to use his crib as a punishment because his crib is supposed to be like comfort for him. But I knew he was tired and he was biting me and it really really hurt and I knew I needed space from him. So I thought putting him in his crib was the best option for the both of us. And yes he was crying. But and it felt terrible but at the same time I knew that I needed a break. If they bite that means that their latch is not going to be correct. So you have to take baby off and then relatch. And it could be really really scary but honestly when I take him off and I make him relatch it doesn't he doesn't bite again that's very rare that he'll do that unless if he's sleepy or um, agitated or even if he's not hungry try to pay attention to baby's behaviors like is he even hungry or is she even hungry is she tired okay let me prep myself let me put those nipple shields on now because I know baby is tired and I know when baby gets tired baby likes to bite and since he's actually had his teeth, he definitely wants to eat more. He does not want to just have breast milk. He wants to eat more. And I have been giving him what I've been eating. So if I have oatmeal with cinnamon in it, I'll put a literally like this size, like a coin size bit of oatmeal on the side of my plate. And I'll feed him that with his own spoon, not my spoon. 
Another thing that we're trying new is him drinking from cups with no top on it. He loves that. He loves gnawing at the cup while he drinks. And I put breast milk in the cup. So if you're thinking, well, my baby doesn't drink juice, my baby doesn't drink water, what would I do with the cup? Put a little bit of breast milk or formula in that cup, mix it up, you know, and then let baby drink from there. He absolutely loves that. He does not really like his sippy cup, and he doesn't really like bottles, so I've just been giving him cups with no tops. Another thing that's changed is he cries randomly. I think it has something to do with teething, though. He'll even wake up and he'll be crying, and then he'll start gnawing like this on his finger. And it makes me think that it's more so teething, not because he has teeth. Another thing that's also changed <laughs> is... <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Another thing that's also changed is he sleeps longer during at least one nap now. So I have some lucky days where he'll sneak. Uh, what is sneak? I have some lucky days where he'll actually sleep maybe 30 minutes for a nap instead of the normal 5 to 10 to 15 minute naps. You chasing your wipes, huh? Yeah. That is pretty much what has changed that I can recall in this moment. I hope I covered a few things that you guys were wondering. If not, let me know down below anything that's changed when you were breastfeeding and your baby had teeth. Or if you have any concerns and you want to know if that changes. Let me know. Maybe I can do a part two as well. See you guys and thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and deuces!